Hello, hi, I am Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined blue and golden ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How is everybody? I've sure missed some of you. And I wanted to let you know that uh, this past probably two and a half to three weeks, but especially since August Lions Gate, the pressure's been on. I know a lot of people, myself included, a lot of people are feeling the intensity, and that's part of what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about quite a few other things, and we're at the end of October, heading into November. So today is um, October 25th. That's the day I, I am recording and posting this. And some of you may have noticed one of the things about this past retrograde you're really much more able to feel that there's not only things cycling here, but there's things coming full circle and closure. And this is something that I've talked about for the past several months. Closure, bringing things to a closure. Now, uh, in a general way, with these retrograde energies, this, is, um, this happens a couple times a year. We had one in January, I did a video on that. We had one recently, it ended. And when it ends, that's when everything goes forward and, sorry to say it, but the purge begins. Yeah, you begin purging out things. So right now, I want to talk to you about October into November. This is going to be the full and final release of all of the old in order to embody your higher love and union together. Now, what does this mean for people? What this means is, depending upon where you are at, and everyone is at different speeds with this, not everybody is in the same place with this. It will mean different things for different people. And I really applaud all of you that have actually taken action on the things that you've known, even during the retrograde. Huge and courageous and wonderful, and you are very brave people. And the universe wants the people who are brave. That's who we really are when we're not in these bodies. You're leaving being human. You've been leaving for a long time. You came in here, ha you know, half angelic and half human. So what are the things that you're releasing? It's going to be different things for different people. One of the things you may or may not be aware of is that this final push means that the push will keep happening until people let go. It may continue to feel like retrograde energies for months to come if people are not taking the actions on the things that they know that they've known deep in their heart to take the actions on. That's just how it is. And I'm not making this up. People are feeling it. I want to tell you why you're feeling it so that some of you will have the clarity in, in it. We're rounding out the picture here for you because in the big picture, we are putting all of the true lovers back together. True love is true love. It's not brotherly love. It's not earthly love. It's not roommate love. It's not sisterly or brotherly. True love is passionate. And it will keep coming and coming and coming. And the more that you clear out, you feel it deeper and deeper and deeper. And you're able to embody it. So it's also a choice. You know, you could look at some animals and say, oh, animals are angels. Well, guess what? You are the angelics and you are the angels with the highest consciousness. You're able to hold the high highest consciousness. And for some of you, you're not done. You, there's more to come. There is um, greater expansion for you. That's how it is. And that is how um, the progression is here. Some of you may not like it, but it is the way of things. So what does this mean for people? It means mental, emotional, especially, 
A lot of you are closing the doors on things. It's especially sexual, and it will purge out a lot of times as physical sicknesses, illnesses. Some people are finding that they're getting sick. I've been talking about that. I talk about it in detail in my webinars with actual suggestions of what to do about things. It will continue until you can fully hold and embody your 5D love in the 3D world. And actually, we're not really in a 3D world. We are in a physical carbon-based world. And the more that you're able to hold at this physical level of living, that is actually um, something that is a bit of a challenge or a big challenge for a lot of people. Not easy to do. A lot of people would like to retreat back into not really what's friendly, but what's familiar. It's the devil you know and not the devil you don't know. There are no more devils, okay? No more devils. And for some of you, I'm going to say it right now, now that I'm saying the word devil, you're not crazy. The part of you that is higher and knowing and tells you things in your heart, pay attention to it because that is going to be your truth. You don't want your truth to come from the mental and emotional of the collective. You don't. You have to really stick to it, okay? Being new means being ready. And for a lot of you who do speak English or are American or possibly from uh, Northern Europe, I'm going to say BYOB. Usually that means bring your own bottle, like to a restaurant. Bring your bottle of booze. Bring your bottle of alcohol. When I'm saying it, it means bring your own body. Your body is your instrument. Your body is brand new. Your body is going to be able to tell you things. Your body is going to know when to hold, know when to fold, know when to walk away, and when to run. And this is one of the keys, getting your body ready. Okay, it's not a mental thing. It's not going to be found sometimes in other things. This is the inside job. And this is the challenge that people are having. People are being challenged to do their inward work and go out into action in the physical world. It is the challenge of bringing spirit into matter. And a lot of you sometimes you, you really get into astrology. And that's great if it gives you answers. You're heading into a level of cosmic astrology. So some of the things that we know are happening. You know, all of that Venus energy, all of that Mars energy, Saturn, what's Saturn? The challenge of spirit and matter. Matter has limits. Human people will have their limitations. I'm reminded of this song I've been hearing lately. If I showed you my flaws, if I couldn't be strong, Tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? That's one of the things with your twin flame. What about you? What about when you're not strong? What if you have flaws? What if you have character flaws? What if you have bad habits? What if your twin does? What do you do? What do you do? And a lot of you don't know. You don't know, and you don't know how to tune in to what to do. That's what I'm here to teach. I am a teacher. I am a teacher, and everything that I teach, I've walked the walk. So coming back to this, bring your own body. A lot of what I do talk about is the body, is the metaphysical parts, are the parts of you that are evolving into the new, opening up and expanding. Some of you have these kind of awakenings where pff, everything blasts open and you're like, oh, my gosh, what happened? What just happened? And you need to go searching for answers. And there are answers. There are reasons and there are answers. I want to also tell you when things happen, make a choice. Do not be the victims ever again, ever. You have a choice at this point. These are choices you have not been able to make in other lives. So, yeah, even lifetime patterns of I'm always the victim, I'm always the victim. They've always done this to me. That's happened all my life, every single time. My family does this. My mother does that. I did it. 
I did it. My mother, I blamed her for things. But I learned that I had a peace in it. Even as a child, I had a peace. Now, I didn't always make the right choice as a child. Some of our parents didn't make the choice. When it comes to the parents, there's sometimes really some uh, bad stuff there. How many of how many people out there had parents that didn't get the medical care, that chose different things to spend their money on than medical care? I went to school with a whole bunch of kids that their parents never got dental care for them, never had their eyes checked. And, yeah, it's about bringing things into balance, that as twin flames, you're some of the very first people that are balancing out all of this general maintenance with the physical limits of the matter, you're literally bringing the heart and the spirit into matter. Well, you're actually bringing, you know, parts of your stardust that you're sprinkling everywhere. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I encourage you, get one of my webinars. They're posted on my website. They are very helpful. I've gotten a lot of great feedback on them. And this coming week, on Tuesday the 27th, that is the full moon. Now, this full moon traditionally, according to the old Earth religion calendars, has been called the blood moon. It's been called the blood moon simply because this was usually the last really good full bright moon that hunters had to hunt by, get some stuff in, do parts of the last harvest, I mean, there's a finality here to some things. Finality, final harvest. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, things are frozen. I went to someone's house that had a Halloween party already, and they have like a mini farm, and the crops had frozen, and there it was. Whatever was left, it was wilting, it was frozen, it was not viable. Some of it was. You know, you had to pick it off the ground, but that was it, final harvest. Okay, what do you do with the final harvest? What do you do at this? This, every full moon is going to show you transparency. It will shed light on things. And this one is no different. Um, the, what my guidance is, and this comes from my higher self, is that the significance of the blood is not war. The blood is the melding inside or the hybriding or the mixed genes, the angelic and the human genes, blood-borne diseases, things that transfer to each other. Um, and we have a whole go around of this again. Here in my country, they never used to ask if you were out of the country in the past six months. Now they do because they need to be aware and alert of any tropical diseases, of things that people are bringing in, of blood-borne illnesses that could be transferred to other people. It's the choice between being aware and being proactive or being ignorant or, you know, hiding yourself. And when it's the full moon, you're not going to be able to hide and avoid anymore. That's just one example. There's numerous examples, and it's right down to your molecular level. It's not stopping every little bit of you releasing anything that's old, you're purging out anything that doesn't belong, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a organization, it, you know, you'll know, you'll know. It's, I have to generalize because it is different things for different people. And I d yes, I do know people that have been waiting, they feel like they're waiting in perpetuity. I know people that are coming together I do have several couples that, yes, are together. And the challenges that are there are that, yeah, there's little teeny bits of stuff that's still purging out and the ebb and flow between them. So I want to show you something um, that back in May, I was walking back from, I was on one of my walks, and it was after a storm. It was a day after a so storm. And my guidance said, Take a right, go down the street, see that object there. Well, that object was this. It's a plastic hummingbird, but the tail was broken. That was the very first signal I got. Broken, broken guidance, broken rudder. The wing wasn't broken, you know, but 
the directional part was. And I started finding over the next few months the missing and broken wings. So this is, again, something significant for me, a blue jay feather. I've seen all kinds of birds. I live in an urban area. I'm only about two and a half miles from a major international airport here, uh, maybe three miles. I've seen an eagle, a juvenile eagle at my park, the one that is that I've set up you know, to uh, be very significant for my union, for our union. And I've seen numerous hawks, blue jays, cardinals, sometimes the birds that have actually left. Now, the other day, I had three finches in a tree, and they just seemed like they were talking to me. And yellow birds are significant. There's even a song, Yellow Bird. But I get these blue jay feathers. Isn't that beautiful? Look at, look at the color variations on that. This is from, uh, I'm not sure who this is from. But this is so downy. This is one of the under feathers. Okay. The other ones that I had, and these are so fragile, I had them in plastic bags. A broken wing. That's a broken wing from a monarch butterfly. And, you know, I'm sure the butterfly passed on, and it is a butterfly. I saw this uh, animation of someone who watched the butterfly hatch out of the caterpillar and the cartoon said, I missed the caterpillar. Some people miss the caterpillar. They're missing the way things were and they're not they're not appreciating the blossoming out of the new. I th I, I just really got a kick out of that. This is a very um, you can almost not really see it. It's it's very gossamer thin. I don't know if you can uh, make that out. That is the, that's from a cicada, and when I found it, it had rainbow shimmers on it. It's kind of, it, it looks almost plasticky. It had rain, kind of like what I have here, rainbow shimmery. So pretty in the sunlight, but broken. The broken wings, the missing wings. And there's been a thing that's been going on over the past few months, and it's, I've become aware of it both with me, both with um, people that I've uh, read for. Yes, I do twin flame readings, I do. The readings have been on fire. What I noticed, though, was that there were quite a few people returning um, home. For a lot of you, this time period in that retrograde, old home week. You probably had people come out of the woodwork, people that you had to interact with, and there's even reasons for that. It, the reasons are, um, you know, balancing out some of the chaos. For some of you, you've had the broken wing. You've been walking around with your wing missing. It's broken, it's missing, or it feels like it's missing. And how do you get it back? Some of you had your wings clipped in childhood. You know, the abuse here, sexual abuse, physical abuse, or all of it, spiritual, physical, emotional, mental, sexual. Some of you had it, had it all prowled on you. And these time frames are the opportunity for it to go. When people tell you, let it go, they don't mean with your head. Your head will spin around with it again and again and it do 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 do. It's like a gerbil wheel. It keeps going or like a slideshow. But they did this. But they did that. This is when I say, bring, bring your own body. Bring your own body in. Bring it in. You're not crazy. You do have it. You came here well equipped for this time. You did. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If someone's telling you things, or they're or they're just saying to you, like, yeah, that's when uh, they were there to catalyze you and make you a better person. Yeah, make you a better person, but guess what? You didn't meet them so you could go bye-bye, see you another four billion years, see you, see you later. No, you didn't come here to be dropped on your butt. It might feel like that.
a lot of you feel, and a lot of you are slipping off your own bridge that you created. Some of you are. Some of you know it. Some of you haven't known what to do. You know what I got? I got some of what you need. I'm a teacher. It's out here. It's been available. It gets results. It gets alleviation. And there's there's something else I'd really, you know, I kind of I kept this. Guess what I'd prefer to do? Not only would I prefer to have a coffee, I'd prefer to have a pizza party. Ciao Italia. And some of you, you've had your heads all tangled up like spaghetti. You know, there's a lot of tangly up stuff there. And you need to get the spaghetti. Manja con gusto. Spaghetti's for eating. It's not for staying tangled up. Get the wiring. Get the stuff released. Mental stuff. Mental beliefs. Some of you have become aware of what you are calling darkness. But I'll tell you what it is. It's negativity. It's the stuff when some somebody says, well, I'd sure like it to be for this lifetime, but I don't know. It's Boom, right there. Stop yourself right there. Because the minute that you start believing or buying into that, it goes. You have to pull it from the inside. If you don't know how to do it, I'm a teacher. Many of us Blu-rays are aligned as teachers. And I applaud you. Many of you are going to have some really good stuff to help people with the transition. We are by no means done. We are by no means done. We're done with karma. We are by no means done with new babies coming. Life goes on. Life always will go on. Life goes on and on and on and on. You can see it. You know, I love those photos of like, something freshly paved where they've paved over nature and then you see a flower growing out of the crack you're the flowers that will always you don't fall into the crack you grow out of the crack please know who you are please know who you are you are some of the most magnificent beings in the universe and you are doing this in advance of some other people because you are forging through so, when you don't know what to do, when you don't know what to do, okay, you pause, you breathe, you connect with your body, get your body reconnected, then you'll know. Get yourself clear. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by now, I can appreciate that. There's people that are just finding out what some of this is. And it's a crash course. It really is. You've been blasted open. You've been awakened. You met your person. Whew, there it is. There's no denying it. But I'll tell you what. You saved yourself years of trouble. You saved yourself years of some of the baloney that's out there. And some of you are going to be, you know, continuing to evolve. Some of you have put yourself on hold, and that's fine. But I can tell you this, nothing is stopping. Nothing is stopping because it is the full and final release. So with that uh, said, I want to let everyone know I've been working on not just one, but two webinars. And I'm splitting, I have so much material, I'm splitting it into two. I will announce when those are ready. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to me. Thank you also to everyone who's bought my webinars, been patient, who's tried it. And all I can say is uh, I really appreciate that you're here along the path. I, I really have enjoyed meeting a lot of you. A lot of you have just been delightful. A lot of you, uh, Blu-rays, feels like I've known you and, in fact, so many of us are really friends from home. You have to continue making your twin, your twin flame forever, your BFF, your best friend forever, okay? Your best forever friend, whatever way you say it. 
whatever works for you, but keep doing it. I really encourage you because the part that we're in now is is really significant. Okay, like you cast yourself out. You've gone to the four corners of the universe and this compression effect, it's going to feel intense. It really does. You're not alone. Um, there've been. A, I'm going to do another video too with the map. I'm going to do a video with the map because the map will, um, I've had uh, new locations. I've known that some of you are out there in these locations, making it safe, getting ready, getting really into your union. I mean, this next year really should be exciting. I'm going to have more to come. Thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy your day. Please enjoy the full moon. I hope it's visible from where you're at. Enjoy nature time. Bye now.